All right, my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and we are finally getting around to testing out Expeditions, a Mud Runner game on the R <clears throat> on the AMD RX 7600 XT with a 5900X CPU. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into the settings real fast. Now, right now, I've got it set up on the uh, um. The same, basically the same settings that I have. FXA A off, motion blur sharpening. I don't remember if there was any kind of. Uh, so yeah, everything is basically still set up to the same settings I had on the 7900 XT. So we'll just run it at 4K Ultra and see how that accepts. See how that does. All right. Let's go to continue, and uh, we'll we'll jump into a map, and we'll see how this runs. I mean, there's no frame generation or anything on that. I think we will try Carpathians, because that seems to be the heaviest place for this game. So now we've got a truck store. Let's see what we've got down in here. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh. Hey, we got some nice looking truck skis. Dude, look at that. That looks like a monster. That looks like a beast too. Okay, we'll just do our we'll just do our regular trucks. We'll do this one. I've been liking this truck a lot lately. So we will pop, 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 pop. Um, and then we want that hydro monitor system. Okay, so that's what we're going to take with this truck. And then we are just going to go ahead and go on with that. Operator. Oh, I need an operator. So let's get this one. All right, let's go. Perfect. Deploy. Start expedition right here. Let's see. I'm I'm curious to see what this is gonna do with 4K. Let's see if we can get 4K over console settings. Oh boy. <coughs> Ooh, it looks like we are going to be in the 30-40 FPS range, man, at 4K. You know what the funny thing is about PC is even like 38, 40 frames a second on a game like this is going to kind of feel smooth. Um, looks like we will be dropping a lot. So let's try, I'm thinking, I'm thinking 1440p is actually going to be the, uh, you know what, let's try 1800p. Accept that, accept it. All right, let's see what, let's see what that will get us. Still looks like it's going to be a little bit hard. I mean, it's about the exact same as 4K pretty much. Well, actually, this is holding a little bit higher in like the 40s and stuff, so. Let's go ahead and get my four wheel drive going. I'm thinking like 1440p is going to be the sweet spot for this. Let's let's just do it. Whatever. Uh, maybe dial down your settings just a little bit. Gosh, dude, it's yeah, it's more than just. See, and this is probably the heaviest spot because of all this vegetation and stuff. So I'm feeling like I'm feeling like this here is like the heaviest spot that you're gonna have the most problems with on this game. So this is the perfect spot to bring out and test this on because once you start getting over here, look at this. 
we start getting over here, we start getting closer to the 60 frames. And then we're not surrounded by all the trees as much. But yeah, this isn't going to be an over 60 FPS. Let's see what we've got down through this valley and stuff. Okay, we need to get to that. If we keep going that way, we're not going to make that. So this crater right here. I mean, we can go up and over and around the long way, but let's just try for the sake of everything that's, uh, let's see if we can end up like that guy down there. see our spot right over there. That's where we're going to go. We can navigate this. No, we did it. Well, that's the first time I've ever had to use a jack screw. Crazy, but I feel like we can probably I feel like we can climb this right here. And then it looked like right over here on this ridge there's a, a little place that we'll be able to climb up through here. I love this game. I love like it, I love that it feels a lot better to drive. Like it's not a nightmare. This is a heavy game, that's for sure. Dude, and I want you to kind of stay in that freaking spot, too. That's weird. It's a little hard. Successful scan. See, like, this feels fine to play it like this. Because this game is like a slow enough paced game that you can easily play this like this. Hooting. 
Like this, this is a, this is a, this is an okay experience at 1440p with with this. Like this is a pretty decent experience. This doesn't feel bad at all. Obviously, you're gonna get your frame drops and stuff like that, but the game is so slow that you can play like this and it's okay. Wow, how did I pop in my tires like that? Okay, now we gotta go through the water. This is Echo Wait, did I grab the wrong one? I did. Oh no, I got it. I mean, apparently you're getting a better experience than you would on, the, on the Xbox Series X and PS5, or Xbox Series X anyways. People are complaining about that game being very stuttery and very bad, so I mean, like, at least this is feeling pretty decent. Let's get over here and get a little bit better view. Oh, we ran over a stump. Freaking stumps, man. <laughs> This game is beautiful in the Carpathians. Very, very nice. Alright, let's check out 1080p now. Let's see what we get on 1080p. For all of you that love 1080p, let's see. So yeah, you can easily play this at ultra settings. 1080p, I mean... I think 1440p, honestly, on this is what I would play it at. Because it just looks, looks sharper, looks cleaner. And then you get the, obviously frame rate still bouncing around and look you're you're already I'm already bottlenecked on this one so yeah I would probably just run this at 1440s P so let's do that 1440 P for me That looks a lot better. That looks very, very nice at 1440p, and you're still at a very, very playable frame rate for this type of a game. I absolutely feel like Look at that, like look at that cliff up there. Let's just do it. Let's just go up there. Let's try to get up there. Let's try to get up that bad boy. Let's see if we can climb out like this. Look so freaking nice. What do you think, guys? 
go down that? No. That is not the way that is meant to be taken down there. Okay, we came up here, so now we need to go back there and explore our stuff. We did our funness. There's another another hill right over there on the other side that looks cool. Yeah, this is great. Tell you what, man, these freaking Hall Effect joysticks and triggers make such a freaking difference. They give you such freaking good control over this. I mean, like, look at that. I can, I can, I can actually like ride my brakes down this thing very smoothly. Dang, I'm telling you, man, it really is all in the, all in the Hall Effect. Hall Effect is awesome. to do it. Maybe this will let us... No, it's not going to work. Oh, yeah, it is. Let's call it down. Hmm. Everything else I've been able to just fly this around and explore so far. Sucks. Guess we're not getting. Guess we're not getting our full hundred percent this time. We have to. There we go. Now we're climbing the mountain, it says. Dude, we were just up there. Ha <laughs> ha. L O L O L O L. All right, we can do this. We did it once. We can probably do it again. I really do love the way this game feels versus like snow 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 runners. This feels so much better to me. I am still gonna test snow runners on this controller on the Xbox. But yeah, this feels very, very nice. 
very clean, very fun to drive. And this looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, I would like to see these guys support, like, <clears throat> FSR and stuff like that on this game as well. I think that would, think that would be awesome. Give you a little bit better performance and help you upscale that image quality on this GPU. So, all right, my friends, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I think this plays just fine. I, I could easily play this like this. So, all right, guys, see you later.